Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my whole house. My house is about 1100 square feet, so it's not gigantic and that's why I can clean my whole house and um, the video not be super long. And honestly, I prefer it that way because then it's not gonna take me all day to clean my home. So we are going to start off by doing the dishes. This day I had so many dishes to do. Normally whenever I do the dishes in my videos, I have an entire sink full of dishes because I put it off for a couple days before I actually do the dishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the sink and get my dishwasher running. All I'm using to scrub off the dishes is a scrub daddy sponge and some Dawn in my little dispenser. Um, recently I picked up a couple scrub daddies and I honestly really enjoy them. I really like how they stay clean and I really enjoy that you can put them in the dishwasher so they don't smell. I haven't washed mine yet but I do plan on washing in the next couple um, times I run my dishwasher. I feel like every time I wash the dishes in my cleaning videos, it takes forever because I have so many dishes to do. It's something I need to get better about, but um, even whenever I buy paper plates to eat on, I still have so many dishes to do all the time. And I think honestly, it's because my sink is so big and I just sort of let my sink fill up until I do the dishes. And that's a really bad habit of mine. Um, so I'm trying to get better about doing the dishes without having them stack up so tall before I feel the need to do them. We are almost done with the dishes and this is the most satisfying part for me is putting the silverware into the silverware thing for the dishwasher. Um, I tried to organize each slot by like forks, spoons, and knives, um, but I ended up just shoving them all into the um, little compartment just to get them in there and washed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run my dishwasher. The dishwasher pods that I use are the ones from Costco. Um, they come in a big tub of them for like 11 bucks and they work just fine for me. So they're cheap and that's what I use uh, because they're inexpensive. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and wash some of the things that, well, one I forgot to put in the dishwasher because I didn't remember they were on my stove, like this pot and um, these utensils. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside.
The next thing that I'm going to wash are my air fryer buckets. I feel like I'm always washing these nowadays because we use our air fryer so much. Um, I can't believe it's taken me so long to get one, but um, now that I have one, I don't really know how I functioned before without it. Um, it's kind of crazy to think about, but I'm going to go ahead and get these washed. And then what I do is I just set them aside and let them air dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to hand dry them and then just go ahead and put them back in my air, air fryer. I almost said hair dryer. <laughs> and uh, let just let them um, finish drying in there. So for a couple days prior to this, um, my family got um, the stomach bug. So typically I don't spray microband in my sink, but because uh, we had come down with a stomach bug, I wanted to make sure my sink was all nice and cleaned out. Um, so I just sprayed some microband in there and let it sit while I um, hand dried my air fryer buckets. Got some stuff. God damn, she's so fly. Knows how to write a good song. At least better than this. Cause if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it. Cause I, I know that you'd want her to. Yeah, I do. Moving on into my dining room. Um, surprisingly, my table wasn't that messy. Um, I try to keep my table pretty much cleaned off now just because it's easier to clean up before dinner time so we have room to eat. Um, but it just feels really good to get it cleaned off so that way my kids can continue to play at the table. Um, but this particular day there was some slime. Um, they had gotten some slime at the store and just some other random toys. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned off. Whenever I clean off my table, I typically like to use Thieves just because it's a more of a natural kind of cleaner. Um, but because of the stomach bug that we had going around in my home, I wanted to sort of make sure I tried to kill some germs um, on my table just because we are at the table a lot and I want to make sure that nobody else catches the stomach bug. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my table with that. Everyone's taking their shot, showing all that they got. So the dishes that I washed by hand, I went ahead and let them sit and drip dry for a little bit on my counter, but I decided to take a clean dish rag and um, hand dry them myself that way. I could just put those away and I won't have to worry about them sitting on my counter for a couple days because I know myself and I know that I'll just let them sit there um, while I post cleaning videos. I'm not perfect and I tend to slack off a little bit whenever I'm not filming and I just kind of let things go a little longer than what they need to be. Um, so I decided just to do it now and turn on the camera and just um, make sure that I put those away. So this section of my counter is pretty much just like the catch-all for like to-do lists and planners and my husband's things and my work stuff. Um, so this section of my kitchen is usually cluttered with the stuff that we use on a daily basis, but I just like to straighten it up and make sure it doesn't get too cluttered. Toss the soul. Oh, baby, baby, I don't know what to 
So while I was wiping down my countertops with some microban, I looked at my pothos that I'm trying to propagate and I remembered that I needed to change the water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all the water and change that out. And I'm happy to say that it's working and it's growing little roots and I'm so excited. The next thing that I need to do is go ahead and vacuum under my dining room table. Lately, I have been just removing the chairs completely off the rug and it makes it a lot easier to make sure that I get all the crumbs off of the rug because I have two small children and one of them is a toddler and we all know that toddlers are super messy whenever they eat and they always drop crumbs. Um, I feel like no matter what my daughter eats, she always gets it everywhere. Um, so it feels really good to just move the chairs and make sure that I get all the crumbs and I'm pretty sure that is a grape that is on the floor that I just moved with a vacuum. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with my hands um, because my vacuum will not vacuum up a grape. Um, so after this, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chairs back and move into my living room. One other thing that I've made a habit of doing every time I clean my home now is I wipe down these big windows in my dining room. Um, every time my children run up to this window to look out it, they put their fingers on this window and this, so there's constantly child and toddler fingerprints all over the window. Um, so I, what I'm doing now is I'm just taking some spray away um, glass cleaner and a couple paper towels. A little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. I learned that the hard way the first time and I put way too much on my window. The next thing that I needed to do on my to-do list was to wash towels. We are completely out of towels this day, so I went ahead and grabbed a basket. Now I'm gonna get all the towels out of the hallway closet because this is where we store our dirty towels, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw them into our washer. So because the stomach bug hit our household a couple days before this, I wanted to make sure I sanitized the towels. So what I did was I used the Lysol laundry sanitizer in my laundry softener portion of my washer and then I just threw some all free and clear laundry detergent in with my towels. So between these two clips, the time has passed. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the towels into my dryer that I just put in the washer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold those off camera. 
But that pretty much does it for this video. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on this video and watch. If you are new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. I post full length videos on my channel Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then I post shorts Tuesday, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So there's always new content on my channel. Um, on my channel, I do videos like these where I get my house cleaned up and put back in order. I do get it all done videos where they're sort of like vlog style and I take you throughout my day as a homemaker and a stay at home mom. And then I also do cooking content here and there as well. So I'll share a recipe. Um, so if those kind of things interest you, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around. Definitely follow me over on Instagram. My handle is always in the description box below. Um, I post daily on my stories and in my feed. So I'll see you in my next one. Well, give me clarity so I can see.